to show you how to use the Concept Turn 60 Imco CNC lathe. All right, this is a pretty cool little setup. So turn it on, you flip the switch back here. It's already on. I'm just leaving it on because it's gonna pull up the program faster. When you pull up this program, you're gonna see Win NC Launch. Click that and connect to the machine. Okay, these are your controls. Uh, and basically why I spool up, this is basically your start button, this is your stop button, this is called cycle start, uh, this is reset, all right, so when you pull up the machine, when you pull up, it's going to have controls right here, this is where you access your basic menus, and I'll show you some of that later, and then it's going to have uh, this, and if something goes wrong or something happens or it needs you to do something, it'll tell you up here, so it says initialize emergency stop, this red button, you press in, this is an emergency stop, so if you get your hand caught or some emergency happens, the machine's about to break, hit that. To undo it, you turn it and it pops back out. Now it says initialize door, so you turn this key to the hand, and you press this, and you open it up, and close it, just like that. And now it says turn key switch. It says reference machine now, sorry, I might be going too fast, reference machine. And notice that this light started blinking, that's reference. I hit that, it's... And Yeah. I didn't have a speed set, so this is the speed that the turret moves. So every time I reference the machine, it'll go to this exact spot. And you can change this, but this is what it's set to right now, and you can see these positions here. Okay, so uh, let's go real quick over what we've got here. So. And this is under the machine menu, so if you ever lose this, you can click on the machine right here. And TSM stands for uh, tool, spindle, and then kind of like your function. So what, what it's doing. For this, it's which way that's spinning. So we're going to go select our tool. This is tool number two. You can see these actually have numbers. This one right here is eight with a little pointy thing. Uh, for spindle speed, we're going to put a thousand. And for our function, we're going to go with this second one, the M4, okay? And that's going to spin at the right direction for this. Now, if we had a tool that went the other way, we can switch it. So I'm going to hit cycle start. I'm going to move my speed down to zero. Now, you'll notice, even though it's, it's going to go to that tool every time, I actually just had an error where I couldn't set my work offset. And that was because I never selected a tool, so I didn't know what, the machine didn't know what tool was already in there. So you have to select your tool every time you start the machine. Okay, so now you can move this just like a manual lathe. So this right here controls the, how fast the turret moves. And this makes it go up and down on the x-axis and left and right. Now you have free control here. You can take this straight into that, that chuck and ruin this machine. So be careful. You can ruin a part. You can ruin it. So, but you can use this just like a manual lathe. See here, I'm gonna make a cut. You can see I'm making that cut right there. Okay, but like I said, I can take that tool straight into that chuck, so you really need to be careful. Okay, so the first thing we do before we run a program is we zero out a part. Okay, we're gonna set our work offset. So that means that's gonna let the machine know where the piece of material starts. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna get close to the edge. I'm gonna go a little further back now. Slow it down. Okay, and it's just barely cutting right there. Okay? And so I've cut the end of that part off. Just kind of like you do with the manual. And now I know this is my zero point. So on the screen, I'm going to go to measure workpiece. And it's going to tell me my position here. And I'm going to hit set work offset. Okay, see how the Z went to zero? That means whenever I go up here, if I even if I move this, let's say I move this all the way over here, back away, I can go to this thing right here where it says position. And if I say I want you to go to Z zero, that's absolute value, and I hit rapid traverse, it's gonna it's gonna do it. And I hit cycle start and it's it's gonna take that right to zero. So I, it goes right to my point. It's really important for running a program, okay? And so when I'm done, I'm going to stop, and 
uh, let's stop the video. Okay, so that's the basics of just using this thing. Now there's some other small things, like this moves it in small increments. Uh, so if you want to just do like little, one, like small, I think they're in millimeters, like move 100 millimeters, 10 millimeters, or one millimeter, you can do that. Uh, and for now, let's go ahead and go to running a program. So to run a program, you're gonna to go to Program Manager, and you're gonna select your program. Uh, we're gonna select this pawn here. Yeah. Okay, this is designed by one of my students. And it pulls up the program. And before you pull up this program, you have to make sure you set your work offset so it knows where the zero is. If you don't, you actually notice on this one, the work offset was off, it was a little further away. So I think I cut it afterwards, and so uh, it didn't. It actually machined it out wrong because it had the wrong position. So we're going to go to simulation. Now this is really important. You'll see this has got the cycle start and the receipt reset right here. So I go to cycle start, and it's going to show you exactly what the machine's going to do. Okay. Now I won't go that fast, but that's exactly the movements. Now this, if something goes wrong, like if a tool can't do an angle. If it's going to go into the chuck, or it'll give you an error here. And so if it ever gives you red here, an error, don't run the program. Until it goes like this and the program runs good, don't run it. All right? So now we're going to go to execute. All right. It's going to start that program. All right? So I'm going to go to cycle start. Okay? And then I'm going to, I'm going to move my speed slow. For the first part, we can go kind of fast. Okay, now, now once it gets going, this is where it's really important. So you're gonna have to, you can control the speed the whole time. So you, you'll notice here, I'm watching it, okay? The way I have the program written, I have it starting a little further away, just in case the piece is a little bigger. And then that way you can watch. So you'll see, okay, good. It's not gonna go into the chuck, so that's the furthest it's gonna cut is how far it's going down. So I'm going to go a little fast because it's making small passes. Okay, and right now I have it going pretty fast. Okay, I think maybe two more passes. And we'll... So when you think it's going to hit, that's when you start to slow it down. So like I think it's going to start cutting here. Yep. There it goes, it's starting to cut now. Now you can see I control, control it, and I kind of see how the machine's cutting. Is it making a weird sound? Is it vibrating? What's it doing? You can kind of tell how the piece can take it. So this plastic stuff doesn't cut as smoothly as metal, so it leaves a lot of these flakes, so it won't be that fun to watch. But I'm gonna go and send this machine going. But you can kind of see how it's gonna go. this for a bit. Like I said, this plastic doesn't machine as well as metal, uh, but it's a good thing to practice on. It's a little more forgiving. Plastic just leaves all these string things out everywhere. But it'll actually look just fine when it gets done. Let's just show you. Alright, it's done. So now to get it out, you can move to the hand, press the button. Okay, take this guy, move it to our chuck key spot, loosen it. It's like opening a Christmas present. 
All right, and here we are. As you can see, there's our piece. Now, we do have to cut off the base, but you can see how these pieces are all the same. All right, so we're eventually gonna make a class chest set. It looks like this white cut a little better than this black did on the curve, but yeah. So that's running a program. There's a lot of money in being able to load pieces in here, set your work offset, and run a program. That's how a lot of manufacturing is done. So uh, definitely want for the first part of this assignment, I want you to get used to moving that spindle around, uh, getting used to these controls, uh, and then I want you to load a piece and I want you to run the program. Make me some pawns, okay? So we can give out, we can have a couple sets of chests. Pawns are the ones we'll need a ton of, so. Uh, crank out five or ten of those, and then we'll move on to how to write a program. Okay, good luck.